Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet, because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. Welcome to WOW End Time News Update. And welcome to WOW End Time News Update. My name is Miss Patricia, and I'm really blessed that you could be with us tonight. Uh, we're doing a special tonight. I got Brother Nelson Viega um, from uh, out in uh, New York City, um, Queens, with us this evening. Um, and some of the other WOW team members might be calling in this evening. Uh, Brother Nelson, how's it going out there? Well, it's uh, it's kind of rough out here. I'm talking about wind. I'm, I'm just looking at it right now, okay, gusting to 110 miles an hour. I've never seen that. Never. Wow. Wow. Never. 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 In my years that I lived in New York City have I seen anything like this. Okay? This is definitely God's judgment. Okay? Go ahead. All right? And, yeah, and this is only the beginning. The beginning of woes and sorrows. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But this is God's judgment. This is God's judgment. I never see anything like this. Never. Never. Mm. I'm sorry. But this is God's judgment yeah. on a wicked, yeah. wicked city. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Now, if you belong to Christ, if you've repented, you can hold on to Psalm 91. He'll protect you through this. He, but mm -hmm. if you don't know the Lord, cry out, Kenny. Cry out to the Lord, Michael. Cry out to the Lord, Billy. Please cry out to the Lord. Get it together. You don't know if you have tomorrow. You don't know. Right. You don't know. I'm looking at some updates um, from um, Arutas. Um, I have live feed going on. And it says police are reporting several large chunks of seawall and Narragansett were blown apart by Sandy and tossed into the road. Um, like... Um, Brother Nelson just got done saying 80 mile per hour wind, um, and they say it's a Category One. Oh come on now, Category One with 80 mile nah, wind. Nah, My goodness, nah, I hope nah. it doesn't stop. up. Nah, nah, nah. I'm sorry, I don't buy that one bit. I'm looking at Go it ahead. right now, man. Okay, Sandy is now 100. Okay, 100. Okay. 110 miles away from New York City, and we're feeling it over here. i just been outside, okay? And this tree, this tree, a whole tree, a whole tree came down, came down on top of a bunch of cars. You don't see the cars. All you see is the tree, okay? And, you know, and this is a category, what, one? <laughs> I, I doubt yeah, that very much. Yeah, that's what they're just saying. I'm I looking at that. a live life from Noah. Uh, the image of Sandy does not look like... It's a Category 1, one bit. Water is covering the runway at the intersection in New York City at LaGuardia Airport. Uh, that was per media report. Um, the p police uh, are, oh, my goodness, it's showing cars where the police cars are. Water is up to the roof of these police cars. Some windows have been blown out at the NP NBC Rockefeller Center headquarters. I just got that update. Uh, uh, Highland yeah, County is having problems with snow and ice on the roads. Um, no, oh, wait, wait one second. Uh, at Time Pick, a fireman searching for people trapped in vehicles on 14th Street amid fierce floods in Battery City. Uh, power still on at my house, this person said. 
Uh, we're, we're, we're keeping you in prayer, okay? We're keeping you in prayer, Campbell. Uh, if you know yeah, the Lord, God's got you covered. If you don't, cry out to Jesus tonight, please. Pat, Back Pat, to you, Nelson. Pat, Rector's Street Station, subway station by Staten Island, is underwater, okay? At wow. Chelsea, underwater, okay? 23rd Street and 10th Avenue, underwater, okay? Uh, what, what is this I'm looking at right now? Okay, that's Battery Park, underwater. It's, uh, that looks like it's part of... What I'm Battery right Park there, is it's underwater. Part of the sea. You're telling me Battery <laughs> Park? Yeah, Battery Park, underwater. Okay. Man. I'm, t- I- I'm telling you, Howard Beach. Oh, you should have seen Howard Beach. The streets were underwater. Okay, parts of it. Okay, Long Island City. Uh, uh, parts of it underwater. Okay, I have never ever seen anything like this ever before. Okay, the lights in my house where I'm where I'm staying at is flickering. I never seen that before. The last time I saw something like this when I was living in North Carolina, okay? And we had, we had that Hurricane Gloria. That was back then, okay? Uh, yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And all the lights went off. They went flickering just like this over here, okay? Two homes Except- on fire in Rockaway and Breezy Point. No one to fight them. Uh, and Breezy Voiles going in on boats also. Up to four feet of seawater entering the subway tunnels under the East River. Um, wait a minute. I don't know why I'm getting a call from Skype, but I just turned off my Skype. Um, it was a system update, and, um, well, we won't have that bothering us anymore. Visual confirmation proves that Freedom Tower has lost power. Freedom Tower has lost power. Brother or Nelson? Tower of Babel? <laughs> the Tower of Babel? <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> and we were talking about this up. Uh, uh, and, you know, I just want to do a little, a little comparison from Sandy versus Irene and see how the storms stack up. It says, for the second time in 14 months, Greater New York is looking at a head-on strike. Well, it has a head-on strike, serious tropical weather. But Sandy and Irene don't appear to be similar storms. The incoming storm is much bigger and stronger and potentially more troubling for coastal communities, including New York City. We know that by now. Hurricane Sandy prompted a series of mandatory evacuations uh, along the eastern seaboard. That was back on Saturday, including New Jersey's Barrier Islands, casinos in Atlantic City, (laughs) casinos, yeah, and New York's Fire Island. The most severe impact of the storm is expected to occur this evening that we're in right now. In New York City, officials on Saturday night decided not to order partial evacuations of the low-lying neighborhoods, declining to adopt the precautionary measure used ahead of Irene's arrival in August 2011. Um, They expected a slow pileup of water rather than a sudden surge feared in the hours before Irene. He warned that Sandy might force a preemptive power shutdowns in lower Manhattan and cause possible closure of the transit system. But even if Sandy has so far forced fewer evacuations, well, they're up now in the city, there's much more reason to suspect that this new storm is here, actually more of a severe risk than Irene. The strength, okay, they compare them to strength. Irene was weakening storm at land for. Sandy is expected to reach land with more strength. And as we've heard from uh, Nelson, who is right there, he's in Ridgewood, Queens, New York. He's telling us what is going on right now. What's going on right now? Could you step outside, if, if possible, brother, uh, without you getting okay. hurt, uh, and tell well, us mean, what is better, going on, well, what you you're better, seeing from your doorway? I, I, okay, I'm, you better pray for me when I go out there, okay? Hold on for a second. Be with Brother Nelson. Okay, let me put on my jacket, okay? Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. Help us, Father. Help us, Father. Father, be with be with mercy and, and, uh, and uh, uh, Christine this evening, Father God, over there in New Jersey. Be with them tonight, Father God. Protect them under the shadow of your wings, Father God, and all of our brothers and sisters. Pastor Iana Chelly, Pastor Robert, be with him tonight, Father God. Uh, I don't know everybody's names, but there's certain people that are on my heart, and I'm just praying for them in the name of Jesus, Father, to protect them. Protect them this night. Protect Stephanie tonight, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Protect uh, my husband's brothers and draw them to you, Father God, any way that you have to, Father God. Please, Father, whatever you got to do, shake them up and bring them to you, Father God. Let them fall on the rock before the rock falls on them and crushes them, Father God, in Jesus' name. Okay, I'm going to walk out. 
Okay, okay I'm ready walking to out, walk out. Okay. Brother Nelson right. over in Ridgewood, Queens, New York, is about to go outside and let us know what is going on firsthand there. You're listening to WOW End Time News Update Special Report of for Sandy's Hurricane Sandy. Well, it's a bit of a mess out here. <laughs> and I'm looking. Yeah, I'm going to be a little careful. Yeah, please. Oh, yeah. The, the tree definitely did come down. Oh, Are you serious? Wait a minute. I just got a message. I just got a message from my daughter in love, Sarah. Martial uh, law in New York City. I'm going to ask her, say what? Oh, my goodness. She just said that martial law has been called in New York City. Have you heard anything about that, brother? Not yet. Not yet, but I'm walking towards that down tree, and i got to be careful of those wires above me. <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead. Yeah, Yes. It definitely came down, and I don't. Somebody's car is right under it. Ooh, who would have thunk it? <laughs> As we say in New York. <laughs> Whew. Excuse my, you know, my my slang. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, it, what, yeah, some some wires came down. Yeah, I'm not getting close to that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and I'm looking at it right now, and here comes the wind picking up again. Like I said, this is not the worst of it, okay? This is what I heard. It's going to get worse uh, for, the, for tonight because we're going to get the – oh, we're just picking up now. I'm walking towards my house. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. Wow, it's a bit of a mess out here, okay? And this is – not the worst of it at all, okay? It's going to get worse yeah. tonight. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. this is something right now? Mm -mm. The tree just came down down the block. And I'm going back in. I'm going, you know, back to this stoop, okay? I saw that wire come down. Uh-oh. Yeah. And it looks like... And I'm not going to get near it <laughs> because when I saw that wire come down, I don't know what that wire is. Could be live or what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You don't want to go near it. You don't want to go near it, um, brother. Brother, my my daughter in love, uh, Sarah, just got done sending me a message. She said a friend of hers in the area just sent her a message that they heard it on their battery radio that 2.8 million are without power. And they're calling martial law. They have to be calling martial law because 2.8 million are without power. Now, I don't want to cause any kind of craziness because I don't know. That hasn't been confirmed. This is what she uh -huh. has heard. So hold on. If we find anything else out, she's going to let me know. Elsa, I'm, seeing the wind, I'm seeing the wind pick up. With the, whoa, the wind is picking up. The wind is picking up. It's stopped. We must be at the, like the eye of the storm. But now it's starting to pick up. He's probably going to get the brunt end of it. You know the back of the back end of it. Yeah, yeah, windy. Woo. And you got people walking out here. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why you stay off the streets, man. Or walking around yeah. out there. Yeah, Everyone they're walking. Was I think, stay inside until I think further notice. People on on air commenting they've never heard those words before. Okay, thank you. Oh wow, 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 wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, everybody's is being told to stay inside. As you heard already, they've all, all subways, right? All subways, all transportation has been stopped, right, Nelson? That's correct. Everything has been stopped since 7 o'clock yesterday. The subways at 7 o'clock, 9 p.m. for the buses. There's nothing running. There's no way There's no way around the city right, right now, okay? And I don't expect it to be running tomorrow as well, okay? Okay. Uh, so, like I said, the judgment is here, but it's going to get worse, okay, upon this wicked and sinful city. I call it Sister Sodom, okay, New York City. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, because this city is far too wicked, and, and, and I keep on saying wicked, but, you know, but I'm from New York, I should know, okay. This is a sinful, wicked city, okay, and I see wickedness around me every time I walk around. 
okay? Every time I go into the projects, every time I, every time I go into the job, every time I go into the social services, it's just wickedness around, okay, in the subways. I mean, you know, I don't want to be self-righteous or something like that, but once you get into Christ, you become sensitive to it, and you can see it, okay? And, I mean, it, this was bound to happen. This was bound to happen. I mean, if God didn't judge this, this city, he have to he have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. You understand Hello. what I'm saying? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Okay, if this is a far wicked city, and unless they repent, I mean, of the wickedness. I'm talking I'm talking to all the New Yorkers here. Okay, unless you repent and turn to Christ, okay, things will get worse and worse for you because it is. Because God's judgment is coming upon this 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 wicked nation. Okay, starting with New York City because he can't get as wicked as this place. Okay. And then it's, I mean, how could I put it? It's coming. It's coming. You guys need to repent. Follow Christ, okay? Worship Christ. I mean, come to Christ, okay? Because the wrath is coming. And this is only the beginning, okay? I'm looking at it right now, man. You go inside. <laughs> Let me go inside. And I'm being very serious. It's coming from the heart, okay? This is coming from the heart. I mean, all you got to do is uh, repent, repent, yes. repent, and call and call on the Almighty God through Christ. Okay, accept Christ, accept Christ as your Savior. Okay, and follow Him and turn away from your sins. Because this is only going to get worse. Okay, you're going to see it. Uh, you're going to mark my word. You're going to see this. Uh, when the next time you see Christ, it's going to be already too late. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. You don't want to hear depart from me, you work of iniquity. I never knew you. Depart from me into a lake burning with fire and brimstone. And, yeah, we are fire and brimstone preachers. What happened to the old preaching? Why is it all just signs and wonders? The old preaching, the gospel of Jesus is to repent. Repent. We're not playing games with you. This is this is the beginning, and I know. Well, we've heard this before. Oh, the, the everybody keeps saying he's returning and his wrath is upon us. Yes, and it's closer than you think. And he's tarrying. He's taking his time so you'd repent. My goodness, but we are there. We are there. We've been saying for quite some time that something major was going to happen before the elections. Well, hello, the elections are, what, seven, eight days away? What is it, seven days away? Right. Look what's going on. New York City is going to be down. What do you think New York's going to be doing? You really think they're going to recuperate this fast? This is only the beginning. This, yes, the eye has just hit. This is only the beginning. You, know, you, see, you, you, you were right, Pat. You were saying that you know, you've been, you know, people have been hearing this for years and years. It's not, it reminds me of Second uh, Peter, chapter three, verses two to eight, and it says yeah. that yeah, ye yeah. may be mindful, yeah, that ye may be mindful of, of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and the commandments of the apostles of the Lord and Savior, knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of, of the creation. For this are they willingly ignorant of, that by the word of God, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the word that then was being overflown with water perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same words, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Wow. It reminds me of that. Okay? People, people are saying, where is, where is the promise of his coming? You know why? Because the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. He wants people to repent, okay? That's why, that's why he's so patient, okay? That's why he's so patient. Because leave it up to me, you know, to you, our sinful nature, okay? Okay? Uh, the, the, the world would have been, would have been burning a long time ago. But because God is God, that's why he's God, we're not, okay? Because he has his laws, he has his patience. He wants people to repent. He's given time people to repent, okay? But it will come. It will come. As a thief in the night, okay? It will come. He's just being patient because he's God, we're not. He has, he, uh, he's holy, and, you know, he's holy, okay? He has patience. 
but they, that this but but it will come. It will come. Okay. I don't know how how else to put it. Okay. But it will come. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Chief. Yeah. Yeah. It will yeah. come. Okay. And the reason why it hasn't come yet because he's patient. He wants people to repent. All of y'all in New York City, repent and turn away from your sins. Okay. Turn away from your sins and repent. Come to Christ. Follow Christ. He's your Lord and Savior. He's the only Savior of the world. Thank you, Jesus. Now you can add something, you can add something more to that. <laughs> oh, God. Father, I'm I'm here. I'm here. I'm I'm, I'm looking at um. I'm looking at this uh, Fox TV. It says news reporting. All the lights south of 40th Street in Manhattan have gone off. Uh, it says rumors are wrong. The MTA cannot access damage until Tuesday. It is way too early for subway reopen timetable. Uh, this is what they just said. Um, flood waters surrounding cars in Hoboken. Evacuations due to rainfall flooding in green. Chimney just blew, was blown off of a home in Fort Loden, PA. Uh, up to four feet of seawater is entering subway tunnels under, under the East River. Um, this is this is amazing. You know what 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 um, Nelson, brother Nelson, just said is so true. That's why God is taking His time. Has taken His time. He's been generous. He has been, and he is loving, and he is caring, but he cannot, he cannot keep on brushing under the table sin. That's God, right. Where is that, where is that scripture uh, that for, for a while it was okay that he just laughed at this stuff, but now he requires all men everywhere to repent? Where is that scripture, brother? Oh, you know the one I'm talking about? I have to look it up in my Kindle, okay? <laughs> no. All men everywhere to repent. Let's see who can get it first. Okay, let's see. Acts seventeen thirty. I'm pretty cl- I'm pretty good, huh? This this well, you almost know, you know, pa- you know, you know woman, you're uh, you're you're faster than me. Okay. That's okay. okay. Acts yes, because I'm old. Okay. <laughs> old. I'm gonna be sixty. I don't want to hear it. Okay? okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute here. Okay, we are there. Um, okay, I'm going to go back a little bit. I'm going to go back. Okay. God that made the world and all things there, and seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwells not in temples made with hands, neither is chipped with men's hands as though he is needed anything. See, he gives to all life and breath and all things, and hath made of one blood all nations of men, but to dwell on all the face of the earth and has determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation that they should seek the Lord if haply they might feel after him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us, for in him we live and move and and have our being, as certain also of your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone, graven by art and man's device. And the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now mm-hmm. commanded all men everywhere to repent. Because he has appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he ordained, whereof he had given assurance unto all men, in that he raised him from the dead. And when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mocked, and others said, We will hear of others again. We will hear, we will hear again of this matter. So Paul departed from among them. Are you going to say, we'll hear from others about this? Are you going to say, oh, we're going to wait one more time? You know, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just wait one more time. I'm not ready yet. I'm too young to give my life to the Lord. You better be careful. My daughter was killed mm. at the age of 23. She knew the Lord, thank God. You don't know if you have tomorrow. Wake up. And that's what I, that's what I try to tell these young folks. I'm talking about those teenagers. That I, uh-huh. that I come across in my job, okay, I tell them, repent right now, 
okay? Because the next time you see Christ Jesus, it is too late. And then when I tell you, when I, when I, when I mention to you about being saved, you're wondering, saved from what? Okay, and I, and I said, oh, yes, I'm going to tell you. Saved from the wrath of God, okay? And you want, you want to know what the wrath of God is? Okay, here is Read it for yourself. In chapter, I just read it to <laughs> Okay, in, in, in Revelations, okay? A perfect, perfect spot. Revelations, I guess ready today. 19, okay? I'm ready today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. I'm ready today. Okay, and the devil to see, okay. If you're and on I the saw, air, if you're listening, I just invited a, a storm chaser to come on and join us, a friend of my daughter in love, Sarah. Uh, Brad, if you're listening, I see some numbers in the sound room, and I don't know one from the other, so please message me on Facebook, the last four uh, digits of your number, so I can let you on, brother, so you can give us uh, any updates you might have. Go ahead, brother. Okay, I read this today, and matter of fact, I marked it, okay? And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This was the second death. That's what people, that you, this, that's the second death you don't want to be in. And whosoever was not written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Now, what they're talking about right here is those unrepentant sinners, okay? This is where they're going to go. This is the wrath of God, okay? And I showed them this, okay? I didn't make this up. Here, take a look at this. There it is, okay? I didn't make this up. This is God's own word. This is, G this is, this is Jesus' word, okay? So, you know, whoever can go around telling you that God is love and everything like that, this is what's going to happen to you if you don't repent from your sins. This is why it's meant being saved, saved from the wrath of God, okay? Because a lot of people use the word, oh, I'm born again saved, okay? Saved from what? <laughs> saved from uh, that, uh -huh, okay? Uh-huh, Yes, and, yes, and I did say that, okay? I said that, I said that to them, okay? You know, they were kind of like, you know, looking at me like, oh, wow. Yes, I, I'm saying it, and I'm going to continue saying that. This is where you're going to be safe from, okay? And then I turn, chapter 21, verse 4. Right, okay? that's right. Right. This is what you're going to get, okay, when you're, when you're in the loving arms of Christ. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor cry, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. It's a no-brainer. Okay. Yes, this yes, is a, yes. This is a, yes, yes. No, this is a no-brainer. Which one are you going to choose? You're going to choose the one I just read over here about death and hell? <laughs> or are you, you going to choose no more pain? Okay. This is, I mean, this is, I mean, how else am I going to put it? Okay. You know, I'm not going to tell you, uh, uh, come to Christ and you be rich in this world. Uh, is that, what's that, the, the, the prosperity gospel? Uh, Hello. Uh, Dominionism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you that because I, I, I would tell them, come to Christ because that's the only way you escape the wrath to come. And because Christ loves you, he wants to save you from the wrath to come. Come to that's Christ right. because of that. That's right. Okay? That's love. That's what that mm -hmm. is. That's love. That's okay. true love. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't, and I told him I wouldn't be telling you this if I didn't care or love you. But I'm That's not going right. to keep my mouth. I'm not going to keep my mouth shut. I'm not going to have my, your blood in my hands. Okay. If I know these things are coming, yes, I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell them. Okay. And I'm not going to. I'm not going to stop preaching it. Okay. I'm not going to stop telling it. Okay. The wrath of God is coming. This is only the beginning. Okay. Go ahead, brother. I mean, Mm -hmm. This is only the beginning, okay? And I'm not afraid. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. To the Jews first, and also to the Greeks. To to the church first, and to the world also. Okay. That's right. And I'm that's and right. I'm saying, and I am saying that. Okay. I am saying that. Yes, even in New York City. Okay. Because I was saved, and I'm a New Yorker. Pat, you were saved. And you That's right, Walker. and it okay. wasn't at a, at a church pew or at an altar. It was in my living room. 
It was uh-huh. in my living room after a night of partying my face off. I was a, the, one of the biggest drug dealers in Queens College. I nearly got killed. I nearly hit my car, nearly hit the wall the, on the Northern State Parkway on July 26, 1985 at around 7, because I got home around 7.30. And, Billy, if you're listening, you were there in my driveway with Marie, and you looked at me and you said, are you sick of yourself yet are you ready yet and i said yes billy and i gave my life to the lord right there on the spot don't you tell me that you can't do it don't you tell me that you think it's too late now is the day of salvation now not tomorrow you might not have tomorrow repent repent please repent brother nelson look at me i was a I was the biggest puta, puto, okay, uh, uh, well, in, in English, a whore, okay, because I come from, I'm Hispanic, okay, my brother, uh, my brother was a whore, my other brother was a whore, so I learned it from them as a uh-huh. little baby brother. <laughs> okay. Woo. I was the biggest puto. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest, okay. I was the biggest puto. <laughs> okay. There you go. That, hey, I hear you right here. Okay. Okay, and guess what? Guess what? I don't. I I, I become so sensitive here by the grace of God because it, it has to be God. Okay, okay. I don't even look their ways. Okay, because what did the scripture say? Uh, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, because you, you let your eyes wander. Okay, guess what's going to happen? Lust starts, you know, creeping into your body. So I now I know what he means about lust of the lust of the flesh, then the lust of the eyes. <laughs> because the eyes can can draw you to sin. Especially a man. Okay? I know that for a fact because I'm a man. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's why I tell people, keep your eyes where it's supposed to be. Okay? Keep your eyes where it's supposed to be. Brother you know. Nelson? We need uh-huh. to pray. I just got an update uh, from Sarah. Uh, she says the hospital in Greenport, New York, need prayer. They're evacuating patients from there. Uh, the town is practically underwater. Father God, right now, in the name of yeah. Jesus, we come to you, Father. We ask that you would be with the children that belong to you that are being evacuated from that hospital, Father. Cover them with your feathers. Under your wings, let them trust, Father God. Protect them, Father God. Let nothing happen to Amen. them. On the right Amen. side and on the left, Father God, keep them from slipping, Father God. Let your angels protect them, Father God. And those that do not know you, Lord God, those that do not know you, Father God, let them cry out in repentance to you this night, Father God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That's the hospital in Greenport, New York. If you're listening, please keep them in prayer. They're evacuating the patients from the hospital because the town is practically underwater. Go ahead, Brother Nelson. Well, like I was saying, like I was saying, uh, it turned me from a uh, from from that to a faithful husband. Okay, okay, and from that because I already told you uh, about my wife. Okay, that I was faithful to her until the end. Okay, uh, you know that too. Well, she she's 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 a born again Christian. Okay, and uh, I was married to her for twenty six years. And then when she was in a nursing home, I visited her and read the Bible. That's when I became, that was shortly after I became saved, okay? And I, and I knew, and Satan knew that if, uh, if, she did that to, if he did that to her, I would probably curse God and just abandon the whole thing. But for, by the grace of God, I, he, I fooled him, and I just got closer. And I, I, I bought this giant-sized Bible and went, and went to where she's at and read, and read the Bible to her. I read the Bible every, I mean, it was every, I loved her very much, okay? I want to tell you that. Every time I think about it, I want to cry, okay? But I love I loved her, yeah, I loved her very much, and I used to visit her in, in a hospital in a coma and everything. They, they told me to pull the plug, but I'm not going to take anybody's life, okay? I don't do that, okay? Um, I don't do that. I don't take I don't take people's lives away, okay? I let that, you know, it's God. It's, it's God's job, Okay? So I visit her every time at the hospital, um, at the at the at the at the nursing home, and uh, then I read. You know, I kept on reading the Bible to her, and then he passed away. I got even closer to God. I, that's when I started studying, memorizing scriptures. You know, before.
before you know it, I had a whole arsenal. <laughs> you know, without be, be, before I even knew, okay? I got closer to God because one thing I knew, okay, that I that 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 when the day when when Christ come, Christ returned, she would be resurrected because she is saved by the blood of the Lamb. So when I when I went up to her at the at the funeral parlor, I just told her, "I see you later," because <laughs> you know I will see her at the resurrection. Okay. Yes. You know. So, yes, because uh, well. that's what that's what first that's what second does. First Thessalonians 14 verses 13 through 18 is all about. Don't don't fret. Don't be sad because they're, they're going to come back again. Okay, and for the Lord even, for the Lord Himself shall descend from the heavens with a shout, and with the voice of an archangel and the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Father. and you and, and I and I do mean that, okay? And I do mean preaching the word, no matter what, okay? I do mean it, okay? I will go out there and I don't care who what other people will say, if it's to New Yorkers, the people from North Carolina or wherever. Everybody if he somebody was pre somebody preached the word to me, a New Yorker, okay? And it has given me a chance. I want I want to go preach and sow the seeds to New Yorkers. Who knows, okay? It, 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 may, it, may, it may bear fruit, okay, to somebody if it's God's will, okay? That's what I, that, that's what I want to do, okay? And I want to continue preaching it out there, no matter what. Amen, amen. <clears throat> we want to welcome one of our other teammates, Heather. Um, Black is on the, the line with us right now. Heather, how's it going there? Oh, it's going pretty good. Um, I locked myself out of the house, and he had to break the handle to get back in. Oh, no. But, uh, yeah. Oh. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's windy. It's rainy. We've lost our power like four times here. Where do you live? Uh, Where do you live, Heather? What state? Uh, the Menor area, Menor, Ohio. Mentor, uh, Ohio. Ohio. Okay. So you're getting some of the onslaught also from Hurricane Sandy, huh? Right. And I'm, I'm in the south, so southeast. <laughs> We're going to get it. We're going to get the yeah. after effects. And it's flooding here, too. So I'm, I'm like uh, about, let's see, uh, maybe 30 miles away from Cleveland on that uh, Lake Erie there. Wow. Remember? Wow. Yeah, I'm not very far from there. Yeah. But praise yeah. the Lord, it's, it's good to be on the air with you, sister and yeah. brother. Yeah, yeah, we're glad that you could be on here with us. We really, you know, we're a team, and that's how we work. We work as a team. I'm, I'm, you know, <laughs> poor Nelson, I sent him outside with his raincoat on a little while ago because he's right there in Queens, New York. And, um, you know, we're just, we're just telling people what is going on and just asking them to repent and get right with the Lord because we don't know. You, that You don't know. You don't know if you have tomorrow. And now is the day of mm. salvation. Not tomorrow. Today is the day of salvation. And don't say, well, I've been through this, that, or the other. I mean, come on now. Brother Nelson lost his wife and kept following the Lord because, like he said, yes. he knows that she's going to be there at the resurrection of the saints. He knows, and he wants to be right there also. That's right. Right. You, know, you, you know what, Heather? Like I said, uh, I, um, you know, Satan fought, okay? I was going to curse God and just abandon the whole thing. But by the grace of God, I fooled him. I got closer. Okay, you know when when he when she got when she went into a coma. Okay, and then I, uh, they, they was asking me to pull the plug. I got I said no because that's God's job. Okay, I'm not God. Okay, I'm not going to take somebody's life. Okay, that's so right. I kept on going. I kept on visiting my wife faithfully as a faithful husband. Okay, for 26 yeah. years. Okay, I went to the hospital, read the Bible to her. Every single chance that I got, and they transported her to Long Island in, in New York City, and I read to her the Bible. I went over there, wherever she was. I was there as a, like a faithful husband as should be, okay. And you know what? You know what? Put, you know what put that thing in me? It was God, because that wouldn't be me, okay. All right. So I, I, I read, and until the day, on the day that she died, I have a hard time talking about this, okay. Until, until the day that she died, okay. You know, I still follow Christ. I, I even got closer. 
if you would saw some of the scriptures of the uh, that I memorized, I, I, I don't even believe it, okay, because that, that's not me. I can't remember to put on the, a matching pair of socks to let old Burmese scriptures. <laughs> but God did it. It's, he did it. He did it, okay? And, I, and I'm not ashamed, okay? I'm not ashamed to proclaim the gospel of Christ, okay? I don't care if people shake their heads. Or, oh, I shouldn't preach to New Yorkers and stuff like that. Hey, somebody preached to me, and I'm a New Yorker. And I, and I said to Pat, Pat, you're a New Yorker, yes? Somebody yeah. Somebody preached to you. <laughs> you talking to me? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, I mean, I think the last time I checked, you're a New Yorker. <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> okay. So I want to give everybody a chance hey, for salvation hey. here. Okay? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, if it's God's will that it happen, fine, okay? But I'm going to plant the seed, okay? <laughs> right. Amen? <laughs> and, right, that's right. Okay. You're listening to WOW, our End Time News Update. Uh, we're a production of WOW Ministries. Uh, we got Miss Patricia talking to you. We got Brother Nelson Baega talking to you and Sister Heather Black talking to you. Uh, we're the WOW team, and uh, we just want to give some updates on what is going on here with Hurricane Sandy. And uh, pray. Uh, we're encouraging people to give their life to the Lord. Uh, there's a mess going on, and this is just the beginning. Like uh, Brother Nelson said, this is just the beginning to what is happening. You ain't seen and nothing I'm, yet. I know I said the I'm word gonna, ain't. I, ain't seen nothing yet. Eight, Go ahead, guys. Eight. And I'm going to use this as a, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this as a, as a, as a, as a preaching tour. You see Go right what happened up? Yeah, I'm going to use this. Okay, with well, this event over here, that, that people, a lot of people thought it would never happen. It, I will tell them it will get worse. Look at it in the Bible. I mean, what I do, I take out the Bible. That says, I, don't believe me, read this. Here, there it is. You see, I'm making this up. I show them in the Bible. Okay, men's heart <laughs> failing. Okay, what's that chapter? Uh, chapter 17, I think, right? Of Luke. I'm looking. Okay. Fearful chapter. Track. Chapter Luke twenty one twenty six. Men men okay. will faint yeah. from terror. Yep. Exactly. Okay. There it is. Okay. Men's men's heart will faint from terror. Okay. Okay. You don't think all this is uh, uh is not going to come to pass? Okay. You think all things are going to continue as it were? Well, you know, uh, we you thought New York was going to be flooded, right? <laughs> you know, I was Hello. talking like that. Yeah. <laughs> and here we are. Half of the city is flooded. Uh, Lauren Manhattan is flooded. Uh, Rector Street, the subway station, all the underwater. Okay? Come on. Since when you see that? I haven't. <laughs> no. Amen. I mean, this is crazy. Let, let, me go, let me go over here for a, a, one moment. I got these updates that are coming through. I know, Sister Heather, I know you got the link. I sent you the link, too. But what it's doing is it shows New York Times live camera shows large areas of, of Manhattan just lost power. I mean, you can see one half on the right is out, the half on the left is on. Uh, it looks like surveillance video showing a generator exploding on 14th Street. That's what I'm looking at there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm looking at these pictures uh, just in. JFK, LaGuardia, Newark International, and Teterboro uh, airports are all now closed. This is flooded. I'm looking at total floods, floodwaters, in your day, ground zero construction site in New York City. There's another one. Um, report from uh, uh, NWS chat indicate that the New York Stock Exchange trading floor is under three feet of water. Hello. The New York mm -hmm. Stock Exchange, good old mammon, is under three feet of water. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You got that you got that link pulled up, Sister Heather? Whew. Email it you put... email that to me. <laughs> oh okay. I, 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 I put it in your message box. But um, let okay. me go ahead and uh, on, on on Facebook. I'm gonna send it to you again right now. Um, okay. Wow. It'll be under a separate one, not in the group email for the for, for everyone. I'm going to send it to you in a separate one. Wait one second. I mean, it just gives you picture after picture and post after post. It's called Tracking Storm Sandy. It's a live dot rooters. That's where it is if you want to check this out, people. 
Uh, it is uh, live.rudas.com forward slash event forward slash tracking underscore storm underscore Sandy. If you all want to get that, I'll even put that in the chat room of our guests that are in there. There you go. There you go. Okay, wait it. one second. I'm just checking who is calling in. I think we lost Sister Heather again. I think her call dropped. Father, be with her. Be with her, Father. Wherever she went, be with her. I hope she didn't lose signal or something because she has dropped her call. Uh, get it back, Father. Protect her, Father, in the name of Jesus. In the Amen. name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You still with me, brother? Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Righty, righty. My cell phone um, is working very fine. I, that's unusual. Go ahead. <laughs> wait one second. I just got a message from Sister Stephanie. Um, she can't get signed in. I need instructions. I always have trouble. Just refresh the system, hon. Uh, you might have you might have forgotten your password, Stephanie. Um, you might have to have the password sent to your email again. That way you can log in. Um, that's the only way I know how to sign in, you know, if you forget your password. Sometimes it's just good to do that if, if you have to refresh and you don't, you know, you just can't get a hold of it. Um, you know, I don't know how else to tell you to sign in, but um, that's okay. That's okay. Keep trying. Keep trying, sis. Let me see what Sarah is saying. Uh, we were told at work today to not give large long-term prices on wood because of the storm. Prices on everything going to skyrocket. Um, John is talking about going to New York to help rebuild and work after it's all over. Bless my son, Father God. Bless my son, John, Father God, for his heart that he wants to help, Father. Bless him, Father God, and make a way for him to get to New York, if that's your will for him, and use him mightily, Father God, to help rebuild and to be a witness for you while he's there. In Jesus' Amen. name. In Jesus' name. Nope, I don't know my password. Okay. Uh, Stephanie, have your password sent to you. Just click on the thing that says, forgot my password, and uh, they will send you your password, and you can redo it. That's all. Okay, you're listening to WOW Radio's uh, End Time News Update, and this is Miss Patricia. Uh, I got Nelson from Queens, from Ridgewood, Queens, New York, on the line with me. And, uh, Nelson, what's going on outside your front door now? Well, uh, well, let me pull out. I'm back in my room, <laughs> but I'm going to look out the window. I want everybody to stay out there. <laughs> you don't got to venture out there. If you, don't, if you don't feel led by the Lord to venture out there, then don't. <laughs> oh, this is, my goodness, I'm looking at, oh, my goodness, there's like, you know, people are just, I forget, where is this? Floodwaters rush into the subterranean parking garage in the financial district. <laughs> yeah, in the financial district, brother. They're being flooded. It says highest water level so far at the battery in New York City was 13.88 feet, has fallen slightly since then. So almost 14 feet of water, 14 feet in battery. My goodness. Building just wow. collapsed. Another building just collapsed on 14th Street. Hello. I think, yeah, that's in Greenwich. I saw that. The half of the building uh, collapsed. Uh, oh, I mean, you were looking inside the apartment. You know, the whole the whole side came down. Partially wow. building collapsed in Chelsea. Yeah, 14th Street. There it is. It's showing that right now. At you see Avenue. that? You see? Okay, you have this link pulled up. It says flood water no, 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 rushing it's not, it's into Spoken Path it's Station. Not, yeah, it's on Channel 11 uh, News here. It's uh, PIX. It's showing the, the partially co collapsed building. Um, let me see what else is showing up here. A uh, collapsed crane came down. It's Ripped. Did you it's get that link ripped. I just sent you? Look at the link I just sent you, bro, in the messages. That way we're both on the same, uh, we're on the same path. It should, it, it, oh, my, you got to see this one. It's the New York State, uh, the New York Stock Exchange. Oh, more just came in. Everyone, please take a breath before routing and panicking about every piece of alarming news you see. You can see the light from this for miles, it says. Uh, 14th Street Con Ed Transformer exploded. 20 seconds ago. Wow. What was, what was this? Somebody, somebody mentioned that to me. What was this? Um, go, um, go ahead and um, pull up that link I just sent you. Go to your Facebook and go to your messages oh, and pull up that no, link. No, I, I, I turned off my computer. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the light was flickering. I don't want to, you know, lose whatever I got in there. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, but uh, I'll, 
I'll tell clear. you where it is. You can keep it off. Don't worry about it. Keep it off. Mm -hmm. um, okay, it says um, it's on 14th Street. That was the Transformer explosion. And yeah, it's showing State Stock Exchange. Flood waters are coming in to the building. I'm looking right at the building. Flood waters are coming in to the New York State uh, Stock Exchange. Wow. Yeah. Wow. This That's is it. amazing. This is like picture after picture after picture. Let's see if, um, no, it doesn't look like her phone got it back on. Well, if you can hear us, we love you. <laughs> We love you. My goodness. <coughs> Heather's having trouble with the phone. She's getting some aftershock. Not aftershock, but she's getting a lot of um, um, gusting winds and, and storms over there where she is. Mm -hmm. But, well, bro, uh, we, got, wow. we, have, um, we have either 10 minutes or an hour and 10 minutes. But um, uh, if you feel like I feel like um, we've done what we ha came here to do, uh, we can shut down any time at all. I've got I've got two hours on the clock, but um, whatever you know, I believe that we've done what God has wanted us to do. No, no, we, we did. We, did. I, we said yeah. what we need to say. Okay. Right. We got the news out. Okay. Uh, and this been this been quite an experience. Uh, I love it. I love it. I love I, I love this. Okay. I felt. I felt, uh, it's like it was God, it was God okay? I, I wouldn't be able to, as a matter of fact, I, uh, let me tell you something about myself. I'm very shy, okay? I'm afraid to talk in public, okay? Yeah. You wouldn't even know it, okay, <laughs> the way I'm talking, okay? But this is nothing but God, okay? And I give him the glory, okay? Amen. This is what, amen, okay? He gave me the boldness to say what I got to say, uh, you know, he, uh, before I before I came on the air, I told the Lord, "Give me the boldness and give me your Holy Ghost, Father." That's right. I don't know. I don't. Know, I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> okay. Neither and, do I most of the time, but my mouth keeps on going. He says he would yeah. put his words in our mouth. That's what it is. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Oh well. And I'm, I'm, and I'm and I'm very humble. Okay, because Pat, you've been doing this a lot longer than me. I only been saved two years, okay, going on three, okay. So I'm like a babe, okay, compared to you, okay. And, and you know, and church, it's a lot easier for you because you didn't have to unlearn all the garbage. You know, I came out of uh, many different hall at church sit, um, <laughs> uh, situations, like the Dominionist and and the New Apostolic Reformation, the Evangel. I mean, er, there's so many, so many false doctrines, so many out there. And uh, join us on, on Friday evening. Uh, we're going to be doing a program about um, Run for Your Life. <laughs> That's basically what it's going to be called, Run for Your Life. Uh, we've got I to go back to doctrine. Well, yeah, I love it already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Run for Your Life. Uh, please join us. T um, tomorrow evening is Hope in the Night um, with yours truly. Uh, we, I have something special for you. It's called w Women Be Silent. <laughs> in the church, and um, I'm uh, with the help of my uh, dear sister Cheryl, who sent me some great information, uh, we're going to be blowing that out of the water, that women aren't allowed to speak in the church, because that's not what the scriptures really mean, so women, it's time to, uh, to rise up and do what God has called you to do, as long as you've got your husband's blessing on it. You can do what the Lord has called you to do. Amen. And then we'll be back on Wednesday night with the, the WOW End Time News Update with Brother Kevin, my husband. And um, on Friday night we'll be back also. But please join me tomorrow evening at 9 o'clock for Women Be Silent in the Church. And uh, we love you. We're going to say good night. Amen. Good night, brother. Amen. Good night, sis. Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. 
Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet, because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. Welcome to Wow and Time.